<laughs> no bueno. Here's what I see when this is going down. Just don't yell. Harvest day three is fully underway. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We have about 30 acres left here uh, in this in this cornfield. It's about 120 acres total. So uh, we're about as far south as you can get. And after today, this field will be completely done. The yield just keeps getting better the further south we move. There's some guys that say if you didn't have a hybrid that was um, durable for um, dry, a dry year you know those those hybrids are not doing well at all but if you did pick a hybrid that's had traits that could help you when it gets really dry those are performing very well so we were lucky enough that we picked hybrids that were uh, had traits that were gonna withstand a dry year so we've been happy with what we chose hopefully that just keeps getting better the further we move um, after today though I think We'll either transition into beans or we'll just keep going into corn into our other field. Either way, it's been great so far. Just hope nothing breaks down and we can keep keeping on. Can you imagine just watching all your friends get slaughtered and you're just the last one standing? Everybody's gone besides this one. It ain't that great of a year anyway. He's the last survivor. I came strapped today with some snacks because gonna be you know this time of year you don't really get a good lunch I got these uh, chocolate dark chocolate coconut balls I don't know what you want to say they got almonds in them it's pretty much an almond joy in a ball form these smack if you love almond joys highly recommend can't go wrong with the mixed nuts and torque I stole these snacks out of torques uh, pantry so thanks thanks dad for all the snacks but honey roasted nut mix Usually I'm I'm just a you know regular nut mix guy, but honey nut honey roasted. Dad's dad's bougie like that, so and then of course you gotta bring the meat. So we got some meat sticks and then we had some Ritz crackers, but I already totally devoured those. So uh, you know, and then I got my coffee, got my water. Life's good. How's the printer doing? Well, it keeps getting off. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Corn's plenty dry though. It's drying a little too fast. We pulled one load out and hauled it down to the mill, and it was testing 13. So we got a little, little too dry. So I had to back it up a little bit so it's going to transfer faster. So you'd like to have it be 15 and a half to haul in down there, 15 percent anywhere around there because you don't want it too wet or they're going to charge you. They're going to shrink it on paper and charge you for it. But you want to haul as much water as you can get by with basically because that those percentages of moisture, that's just like free money. So the more water you can get by with, the more weight you've got, the more you get paid for. So 15 is what you want it and 13 no bueno. Hello, YouTubers. Harvest 2022 
past peak gone. All right, so here's the tour. Here's what I see when this is going down. Eight lovely rows. This is the reason for the beeping all the time. Anyway, you got separator clearance, separator speed, head speed. Uh, just never goes away. We got full rabbit, half rabbit, and full turtle. Never want to go full turtle. Anyway, that's the speed, the old temperature. That one there is a uh, great loss monitor. Up here is the John Deere Green Star. It's tracking moisture right now. Tells the field we're in. And there's the 2020. Tells the yield and moisture there at the top right. And down here it's the load I want. The amount of acres done. And the average yield for that load. And the corn hopper. in with y'all again this is our second to last load um, we're putting 4,500 bushels in the bin because we didn't get all of it transferred uh, last night cutting it a little short today but um, hopefully it'll transfer over through the night since we're transferring over there quicker than we than we were so far so good I just been running around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to get all these angles trying to keep up with David trying to be uh, running and gunning so can not ask for better weather conditions these last three days it's been amazing outside we're gonna be wrapping it up here shortly David's gonna fill the wagons put them into the grind bin tomorrow morning when a lot of the corn is transferred over and then early tomorrow morning three loads of uh, pigs are going out so it's going to be an early morning tomorrow and we're either going to sort early tomorrow morning before the loads go out or we're going to sort uh pigs late late tonight so or maybe i can get cat to help me sort pigs because dad's got to go somewhere so either i wait to sort with dad tomorrow morning or cat cat helps me out tonight so we'll see but anyway harvest day three is almost in the books and Still happy to be doing it. David's just gonna fill these wagons up uh, to top us off, but the drying bin's all the way full. This wagon's full, that wagon's probably got one more dump on it, and then we'll put that into the drying bin tomorrow once we transfer over more corn to the big bin. Productive day, we'll be back either tomorrow or sometime next week to finish this, and then we'll be heading over to the east cornfield to start on that. So dad, he couldn't really help us because he's he's out doing something with my mom. I had to find the help that I could get and Kat was up for it. So it just made sense to get it done tonight so we don't have to get up tomorrow morning before the loads and sort. So just gonna get it out of the way today. Let's get into it. Hi! <laughs> you got your strap on off? Yep, it's pretty girthy. <laughs> she is pretty thick. Yeah. your job what are you doing I'm at the gate and I just got to make sure that none of the non marked pigs get by me and go to the pen with the blue mark so running the gate yeah I'm not I don't know you're getting better it just takes time to get good at it just don't yell at me
halftime report here. I'm with uh, Cat. I'm with Cat, and uh, we're just gonna get her thoughts on how how the game's coming along. How do you feel like you've been performing in the first half? It's not my favorite thing to do. Why do you say that? What's the hardest thing about it? Uh, it kind of gives you anxiety when you have all these pigs coming at you, and like half of them are blue, half of them are non-marked, and try to let some go by but it just doesn't work out that way so some of them are legit psychos they'll get any angle they can to screw you over yeah I, it's just not my favorite thing performance you put on out there did a great job thanks would you do it again for me i don't know if i ever needed somebody mm, we'll see not my favorite thing that just kind of gives you anxiety you better cut off now oh we better cut that was a huge help we can sleep soundly knowing that these pigs have been sorted beforehand and we won't have to worry about getting up an extra hour or two before the loads go out so saves us a little shut eye and a little peace of mind and it's going to calm the pigs down for tomorrow's load so they're not loco oh no a really productive day harvest went well sorting went well couldn't be more happy with how things went didn't want to really sort these pigs all too much but with cat helping me i just couldn't i couldn't resist so we'll see you guys when we see you next